How you doing, family? Yeah, how's it going, folks? We're here, today we're here watching a movie that's a little close to home since, you know, we went to school to study film and we have worked in the industry. And here's a movie about a notoriously horrible filmmaker made by much better filmmakers. Yeah, kind of. I see the I see the Disaster Artist. I don't know if you know that film. It's with James Franco and Dave Franco. Yeah, it's a it, big movie. Yeah, it's about uh, the most like the worst movie of all time, The Room, mm -hmm. and this what is it? What was like to be on that set and see that <laughs> process? And of course, it was made by more competent filmmakers because it was a much more competent movie. Mm -hmm. um, I'll trust that. It's hard to be worse than Tommy <laughs> Wiseau. Have you seen that movie? I told no. I have not seen it yet. Well, I'm sure we will for the trail eventually. Well, if you watch the if you watch that wood, then we knew you guys see the disaster. Yeah. Episode. No good streak. I can't even fold my arms. Gee, Mr. Lugosi, I've never had any complaints. It's the most uncomfortable mm -hmm. coffin I've ever been in. Yeah, there's a reason why that the dragon was shot for. You're wasting my because, time. Because this is supposed to be Bella Lugosi. The dragon. Mr. Lugosi, I told you I don't bother any of your goddamn coffins. No, no, I don't work here. And who are you? What do you want? I don't want anything. I just am a really big, big fan. I've seen all your movies. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you buying a car? That ain't a dying soul. No. Yes. I'm embarking on another bus truck tour of Dracula. Twelve cities in ten days, if that's conceivable. Do you know that I saw you perform Dracula in Poughkeepsie in 1938? That was a terrible production. Dracula was a drunk. I thought it was great. You know, you're, you're much scarier in real life than you are in the movie. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, people. The fuck is that? Things. Those are needles. Those are needle shots. Oh, he's, he's shooting up. Yeah. Oh, I, I thought it was like a disease or some shit he had. But okay, you're right. Holy shit. That's why, was, that's why the one guy from earlier movie called him a junkie. I, I know you're very busy, but um, can I have your autograph? Sip. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. Which movie of yours I love, Mr. God, that's just. That's like the, the invisible. ugliest. Drug you could do is shooting up. Mm hmm. It's, it's something. Uh, it's nasty. It's, it's one thing. Even to me, snorting is nasty too. Like, it is. Yeah. Like smoking, snorting, but fucking injection and, and I, is I the never. most. First, injection is painful. Who wants to even inject things in anybody? <laughs> no. I ain't getting my shots, little injecting drugs. Well, Ray, you were great as Karloff sidekick. <laughs> Boris Karloff, yeah, that's I another big director mm -hmm. right then. Sidekick? Here's a Hollywood Ego. Here's a Hollywood Ego coming in. Does not deserve to smell my shit. <laughs> yeah, a legend. Boris <laughs> Carl the legend. I'm really legend of yourself too, but still. John Lopez, and maybe we can do some business together. Take care. Be fair. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Wow! He put random stuff. Why he put random stuff? Why would he do that? <laughs> let the let the ominous of, of him. He's killing this thing. He's crushing it. Just let him rock. <laughs> Just do a slow little dolly. The nice little harsh spotlight on him. You know, with little, nice little ominous shadows. Let's let him rock out. The label is an acting lot of Give this man satin undies, a dress, a sweater, and a skirt. Or even the lounging outfit he has on. He I'm assuming this. Given the audio quality, I'm so, I'm assuming this is audio from the actual movie. Better, this sounds old. Play better. And That's the guy that's right to the community and his government. Oh, this is going to be a put on. These things are his comfort. <laughs> this is probably another one of Billy Weldon's friends. He thinks it's a prank. But only if you really appear female. Oh, God. Clothing. The actual of a <laughs> 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 When you look at it as a comedy, it becomes great. <laughs> yeah, he just thinks it's a practical joke. <laughs> <laughs> All? That seems very reasonable for an entire picture. <laughs> would you... Would you like to uh, have a look at the, the photo play? Oh, sure. All right. This is very interesting. Do you think it would be possible for me to maybe play one of these parts? I think it would be natural. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why well, move to Hollywood from? Of course, you know there's there's a couple of parts I can think of right now that you might be perfect for. There's uh, 
the secretary in the newspaper office, the file clerk. Those sound kind of small. You want a big one? Here's one that looks good. Oh, is he? Janet Lawton. Is he gonna screw his girl over to give her a part? <laughs> I'm sure you to play her. That's the part. Janet that's Lawton. the part she's asking yes. for. <laughs> oh, she's getting a buck, so she. Clearly, the part to play. Sorry, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she has the big bucks. See me in the part. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> You'd be perfect. You bastard! Yeah. He has to! He's put up the money! The way I can get the movie made! She's being really unreasonable. I, I get her angry, but say that understand from a logical perspective. He has to get the movie made. What's the point of having you in a role where he can't make the movie? <laughs> I am terribly sorry to bother you while you're shooting, but the guy that owns the stage needs his money. Well, then you should pay him, shouldn't you? Yes. Exactly. Wait. <laughs> Wait, holy shit. Okay. He started filming without collecting the money? Yes. <laughs> Didn't get the money first. He so, let the he just let that chick bounce like it wouldn't cause problems. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Your face says it all. Your no, face movie, says it all. This, movie, this movie's giving me like, oh, this movie's, this movie's, this movie's, this movie's, this movie's, this movie's, this movie's making me feel like a failure. <laughs> I need it now. Because I live like cash through my characters, so watching this is completely unnerving. <laughs> You guess you don't have the money. Oh, well, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not a finish first. What are you looking at me like that for? I already gave you my 300. Well, I right. <laughs> you only took 300? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I need the other 60,000. What other 60,000? <laughs> the other 60,000 you said you'd give to me. You misunderstood, Eddie. I gave you everything I have in the world. Three hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my god. Billy Bob! They're cutting up too late. Mr. McCoy. How can I make you happy? Okay. That's on sanitary. Two things. Yeah, it's really gross. Number one, I want the movie to end with a big explosion. Sky full of smoke. I figured it involved me or some shit. Yes. <laughs> but it ends with Dr. Vornoff falling into the pit. Not anymore. <laughs> Number two, I got some little smoke. But a good boy. And something tells me he'd make a hell of a meeting man. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Sounds perfect. No. This is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, I would have bet a million bucks that Ed wouldn't finish this picture. Really? How much money did he put up? None. But his dad gave me 50 grand. Wood production's the mark of quality. <laughs> Listen, the movie's getting made. That's all that matters. That's not all the matter. not. You can't destroy your movies to get money. Because was, you have to make money too. So you, you have to make sure you, you have to make sure the movie is done right. The people don't sort of division, you can't get money from them. Hi, Janet. Oh, hi, Marge. Janet, still on the monster hunt? What do you think? What the what? I think the boss has been looking for you all day. Something about the police wanting those monster stories 86 You've got the whole town in a panic. I can't hear you. I said you. I know what you said. 
But I can't hear you. I get it. See you later. This was horribly acting. <laughs> what the, they have no chemistry. The only thing that works is their cattiness to each other. Yeah. Their contempt. That's the only thing that's working in the scene. Well, that's a joke, because that's how yeah, the no. scene played in yeah. the actual movie. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's the oh, What happened To make his legs move. But don't blame me. You didn't say anything about a motor when I was on the ceiling. I said that's what I need. I need my own crew that believes in me, <laughs> so I can I start making these movies. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> that's what you need. You really just need your team. There's the right girl. You'll be fighting with the octopus. I'm there. Yeah. What happened to this stream? Well, this is gonna look a lot better. We have to match it to the stock footage of the octopus underwater. Okay. <laughs> Poor Bella. Have the feet suck forced to do this shit. Oh. What a fucking fall from grace. Yeah, Messing a divorce, he's broke, ha has been, now junkie. You know what I'm saying? Now I have to be forced to do crappy B movies mm -hmm. with this guy that's the guy that's gonna ruin his career because he has no idea what the fuck he's doing. Fuck you, you come out here. Yeah. Hey, throw me that biscuit. Well, I have to get some kind of word for this role. He deserves one. He's great. Did he not get one? I don't know. I have no idea if this guy any awards or not. But he absolutely deserves one for this. Well, somebody misplaced the octopus motor. So when you get in there and fight with him, shake his legs around. Looks like he's killing you. <laughs> <laughs> yes! For real! I took that dragon side. What? After I beat Rock. Studio offered me Frankenstein and I turned it down. That wasn't sexy enough. Too degrading for a big star like me. <laughs> Bella. This is a real ass story. I have 25 scenes to shoot tonight. Sorry, don't let me slow you down. I'd much rather hear this story. <laughs> this videotape, I'm talking about that, and I said that'd be a better movie. Mm -hmm. Honestly. If I was him, it would be smart since you ever since good relationship with Bella Gossi, do a fucking do a fucking documentary. Yeah. Buy all from Grace. A tell all. That's a money maker right there. Like to me, that's interesting. Alright, let's put it on film. Camera? Rolling. Sound? And we don't have sound. Oh. And action! Why well, does it have sound? No. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. I know. Don't tell me that it's actually in a movie. Yes. Oh my god. I told you, all these are scene recreations from his movies. I have to see these actual scenes. I have to. Oh my god, this is not real. This is no fucking way. That was perfect. What? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny? Of course, yeah. <laughs> I just realized he literally had his rap party in a fucking grind meat grinder house. <laughs> She's gonna leave him hard and dry. Actually, I don't remember if we're perfectly honest. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's here. Yeah. No. You're wasting your life making shit! Nobody cares! These movies are terrible! <laughs> There's a little too much truth there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. I'm going to 
Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, I see not coming. Oh, I love this shot. I got a letter from the government. They're canceling my unemployment. It's all I've got. Without it, I can't pay the rent. Oh my goodness, you gave me the willies. You look like that Dracula guy. He is Dracula. My name is Pedro I wish to commit myself. For what reason? I have been a drug addict for 20 years. Wow, 20. So even when he was famous. Mm. Makes sense. Yeah, I mean, most of people have like drug problems. Yeah. The music stars and movie stars like and producers, whatever else. It's tragic. got some great news. The doctor says you're all better and you can go home now. No, he is not. And he knows he's not. I don't feel so great. No? Well, you look just peachy. And, uh, the test Ed. You must just be real with him, bro. Ed. Let's get out. Come on, Ed. Here we go. Adam, you driving this guy into an early grave. <laughs> Wait, and this is Brian the Monster? Yeah. That was a not bad looking title, bad, bad looking um poster. Poster when I yeah, saw it. It's a good looking poster, but uh. <laughs> oh, did he make this after he got a rehab? Uh, no, no. Brian the Monster. It's just Brian of the Adam, but with a new title. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised he got that part to actually pop out. Look, he's actually successful. He's actually successful. <laughs> Why she's with this lame crew? <laughs> Why does she keep taking his calls? I would have bad as they're gonna block. Even on everybody's block. As soon as Edward calls, do not answer. Click. People are fucking. <laughs> People are fucking good. It's all right in the movie house. But somebody kind of enjoyed it. It, it, it. it seems like they're having fun. Like it seems like they're having fun. You know what I mean? Oh God. The witching hour. <laughs> That's a madhouse in there. I thought it was alright, but it seems like they're just having fun doing it. Hey, all right. look, 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 they're smiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least they're smiling. At least they're smiling. <laughs> this is this is really giving me disaster. This is really giving me disaster artist vibes. That was giving me like yeah. like throwing spoons at the screen. You know, I just I just wish you could have seen the movie. Uh, I no problem. I know it by heart. Pretty sure there's nothing worthwhile to see. <laughs> no. Oh. I have no home. Haunted. Despised. Living like an animal. The jungle is my home. But I shall show the world that I can be its master. I shall perfect my own race of people. A race of atomic supermen that will conquer the world. Great performance, <laughs> gotta say. Mr. Vizzosi, can I have your autograph, please? Well, that was incredible. I mean, you're just as great as you ever were. I'm 74, but I don't know it. Wow, he is an old man. Brain yeah. Oh, if I notice, he dies soon. Vegas. Like Does he die in the movie? Nah, you're like not going to ask that question. Man. You shouldn't. Nah, I wouldn't. I was going to answer it anyway. Maybe if, if I were dig a movie, I'm watching that shit like a thousand times. Okay, he finally died. Yeah. That's true. In real life, they buried him in the Dracula outfit. Oh god, that's depressing. I mean, he wanted to be in it, so. Okay then. Yeah. I mean, it was just Joey, so I'm not not good. Did he end him great? Well, wait. Did they do? Wait. They did they, they not show in the process of planning not enough amount of space? No, they're getting to that. Oh, so they already filmed it. They're getting to that. Mm -hmm. They barely started. I mean, why he's in a fucking like? He's in the cover of that movie. He's not in a lot of that movie. Well, he's in the face of the movie, but he's not in the movie. Yes. 
Oh my god. So the movie. movie was a scam. So we think you see Bella Gossi right now. You know that one scene that you saw him fr- fr- shoot right in front of their front door, right in front of his front door? Yeah. That's pretty much all that he is in the movie. <laughs> what? Yeah. Get the fuck. Yeah. Hey, it's Dr. Tom. Dr. Tom, hiya. Who's Dr. Tom? He's my character. Hey, Gabby, how are you? Hey, you'll never guess who he plays in the movie. Who does he play? Today? Actually, the worst possible thing he could have played. Not here. Him? Mm, I don't know. No. You'll see. Oh, he's a chiropractor? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Lugosi? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't move. Yeah, this man that's a like completely different year. build yeah. is like, like a whole like, foot taller. And like 30 years younger. It's yes. That's his plan. It's <laughs> that's his plan just to oh. get his mouth covered. Oh my god. And what a con artist filmmaker. Yes. Oh god, if you see if you work oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy, and he kept making movies in the 70s. Yeah. I, I, I think that's probably the, the selling point for why they made this movie. The fact that he it's amazing he's worked for this long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think Ed was dead for less than 20 years by the time this movie got made. Maybe the father of the son in the home though. He's not even recently, so it is but it's judging this guy to say I'll a movie about this dude. Yeah. Welcome to the family, brother. Yeah. By actual competent, by actual competent filmmakers. Yeah, an actual good cast. Yeah, an actual good crew. Yeah, Martin Lando, Bill Murray. Do you reject Satan and all his evils? Sure. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the examiner, Peter on you. Just left. Oh, the morgue wagon ought to be along most any time. You get their statement. Yeah, but they're pretty scared. Fine mess like this, I'll frighten anyone. You have one of the boys uh, take the guy and the girl back to town. You take charge. What you get him all the lines for? He's unintelligible. Look, Lagos, he's getting vampire low talk. I had to give somebody the dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> Poor George Johnson. Oh, God. Oh. Always like a nice spot. Copy. Isn't he good? Cue Dr. Tom. Now? Yes, now. Lurk him. Yes. And he does that the whole movie. Because he can't... Sh- he does this the whole time he's on screen. Yes. That's how the actual movie was actually done. This is crazy. <laughs> they got the whole church to back this shit. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't watch this anymore, man. This stopped the madness. <laughs> You have Myra. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor vampire! Oh, no. <laughs> oh god. Let's go down. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I don't know anything about the art of film production. <laughs> <laughs> what an excellent question. That's an excellent question. And this one has no experience in movies. Even yeah. he's like, well, do you know anything about this? <laughs> this is horrible. This is horrible. Well, I like to think so. Cardboard <laughs> headstone tipped over that this graveyard is obviously phony. Nobody will ever notice that. Trust me, if no one knows that, it would not be in this movie. <laughs> yes. Then how about when the policeman arrived in daylight, but now it's suddenly night? <laughs> you know, haven't you heard of suspension of disbelief? Oh my god! <laughs> Who is he? This is our choir director. He's gonna play the young hero. He looks great! He looks really good here! Yeah, he has a jawline. Are you people insane?! I'm the director! You're, you're insane! What are you talking about? You're insane! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't think this fucking scene. Who's that? Take a guess. There's a certain person that's been me- referenced once or twice. Oh my gosh. Orson Welles. 
somebody that's kind of like him, but this better. <laughs> this is just it's sort of, this is the opposite side of the spectrum. It's, yeah, it's his idol, his hero, yeah. Orson Welles. Mr. Welles. Just here. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Oh, we sound like him. Yeah, he does. The voice is really good. I'm a big fan. I, I just wanted to meet you. I'd be great to meet him too. I'm Orson Welles. I'm, uh, oh, yes, he knows. Edward D. Wood Jr. Cool. What you working on? Well, the financing just fell through for the third time on Don Quixote. You know, I can't believe it. That sounds just. A Wow! Yeah, he looks wow. He's wow. He's, he's this guy's doing a good job. Now I've seen him close. I'm like, wow! I'm actually blown away. Yeah, they, but they, how he bought him the life. They really made Vincent D'Onofrio look a lot like Orson Welles. Oh, it's Vincent! Oh, yeah. okay. I know he was in the some of the credits. Yeah. Oh, you're right. That is it. I remember, I'm, I'm only just seeing him like in yeah. more recently. Honestly, yeah. Even then, I didn't recognize him first time I saw this either, and I was well familiar with who he was. You know, you know, he actually worked. I didn't on, see Orson Welles. I actually years. met him on set before uh, with Godfather. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I got for the parlor, man. You know, I can't believe it. That sounds just exactly like my problems. It's the damn money, man. You never know who's a windbag and who's got the goods. Many all think they're directors. Ain't that the truth? Windbag got the goods. Mm hmm. He's a windbag. He got the goods. Yeah. Many all think they're directors. Ain't that the truth? Do you know that I've even had producers recut my movies? I hate when that happens. In your situation, they probably did it better. It doesn't even matter if they're right for the part. Tell me about it. I'm supposed to do a thriller at Universal, but they want Charlton Heston to play a Mexican. Oh, look at wrong, Charlton Heston, great actor. Mm-hmm. It's not Mexican. No. No. That's a big old yikes from me. The cinematography, I like the lighting. Oh my God. You have to reshoot that. I'll get my hand. It's real life. No! Cut! You're wasting film! This is not digital, you can't just keep shit rolling. You're wasting precious film! <laughs> You're gonna keep that cut in there? I think. I don't shoot. I think he. I think he like edits around the cops coming up to pull him up. There's gonna be some like, choppy thing. The whole point is that you want to see him rise up like a fucking mm -hmm. mummy mammoth. Stop, he doesn't want to make movies. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't have the brain because he doesn't train him, so he doesn't learn. He doesn't try to learn. He, I was always he really he doesn't he's pick. Making. You think all these movies that like, you think you watch all these movies you watch all these well films you actually picked up what made his movies good. <laughs> That's stuck. <laughs> This is, this is real? We have this, we have, oh my God, we have to see how these turn out. We have to see it. He gets so happy. He's a nut job. You know what's gonna kill this, Eddie, um, uh, Jim Carrey? <laughs> the face that he makes, I got so see him making those faces. And cut. All right, man. Prepare for scene 32. Mr. Wood, where's the compass? You're standing in it. Place it. Oh my god! Then we'd be a stronger nation too. Stronger. I like him though. He has a real film suit. Yeah, face. It reminds me yeah. a bit of Kirk Douglas. Yeah, he has a real movie star face. They even try to make it. That is a movie, just a production value. The grief of his wife's death became greater and greater agony. The home they had oh, this would be the actual movie. Together became a tomb, a sweet memory of the joyous living. Well, it isn't. They did a great job making it look like it's footage from that time, from the 30s. I mean, they, they probably would do that. They probably would find a way to make it happen. I mean, you can, but that's what I'm saying. I, I'm really not sure one or the other. I'm not too, too familiar. Enough to really tell the difference in flowers them. she had planted with her own hands became nothing more than the lost roses of her cheeks. He's, try, he's trying to make this make sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, so far it's not bad because we have no context yet with the movie. So we see an opening sequence. Okay, it's kind of interesting with the monologue, with his powerful movement, sure. Okay, yep, it's getting bad now. Look at him, he's a nut job. Look at his face. It's insane. 
He's a total quack. This is the one. This is the one I'll be remembered for. Well, yeah, you that's are. True. It's true. That is true. This must be the greatest cult film of all time. Mm. Not the greatest, but the probably the probably like the. I would say best, just the yeah. the cultiest cult it's, you, of yeah, all cult it's, films. <laughs> it's considered one of the best worst movies. Yeah, it's considered, I'll give you that. It's considered one of the greatest cult films of all time. Oh, I want to see. I want to see the theater's reaction. Hey. Right now, let's go there. The lady is pouring in the car top is stuck. Oh, it's only a five-hour drive, and we'll probably stop by the time we get to the desert. Heck, and we'll probably stop by the time we get around the corner. Let's go. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> Vampire, oh my god. Oh, poor Vampira. I know. How desperate could you have been to want to do this crap? <laughs> she must have liked him to a certain degree to even think about doing it. Honestly, I think so. Okay, y'all, we've seen Ed Wood. Yeah, we saw the movie. It's, uh, <laughs> that, was a, that was a chaotic ride we just went yep. through. And obviously, this is like, after, we're, after the fact, we're just in different clothes. Mm -hmm. This is when we've seen it like a couple weeks. Something like that. Let me get us time to, like, just. Yeah, our thoughts mm. with, with the guy that predicts that is brilliant. You know what I mean? So they definitely made a brilliant movie from the madness that was his career. <laughs> uh, we don't see the disaster artist, so like, so, and it's kind of like the same things about the guys who made the room, Tommy Wiseau and stuff. Yeah. And the difference between Tommy Wiseau and Ed and Edward Jr. Maybe Edward had the kind of money that Tommy Wiseau had, he could have made a better movie in general. Perhaps. But it probably would have taken away what made his movie, I guess, popular. <laughs> like, the bad production value. Yeah, because, like, the thing about Edward movies is, like, just like the room, everything was bad. Yeah, everything was just terrible. In Ed Wood, you really do get a little bit of sympathy for him as a character. Because you can because even though he really isn't a great guy either, you can kind of see why he would be likable. You can see why people would follow him. Yeah. He is charming. He does get people together. And, uh, and even, even when he's going through the ringer, going through the absolute worst, he still gets shit done. Yeah. And that's like, and all that is like good things. That's all respectable things. Like see people like believing in him, maybe sometime, maybe, maybe one day he'll make a good movie. Yeah, like honestly, like, with Don Rizzo, like, you, like he's, he's that person that you would never, I mean, this is not the disaster artist, but we watched it and it's hard to not compare the two. Yeah. Because both respectively the same. It, yeah, like, it kind of changes your perspective you see both yeah, so, movies, so like, like, get, yeah, so like so close mm -hmm. together. Yeah. yeah, so like Tommy, like, you know what I mean? Like, he just had no idea. So, and he is pretty much the author of this film. He's pretty much controlling every aspect of this. And when you, go, when you take, so it shows you no matter how much money you had, because he invested like six million plus into this movie. And it looks like the movie shot for like a hundred thousand, you know what I mean? Honestly, and yeah. now that's even being nice, honestly. I My short film was probably the one I made for five for less than five thousand bucks. It you know what I mean? Look, that look, does look, look better. better. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. Also, yeah, you knew what you're doing. I study, I study the craft. I know what I'm doing. And I am still know what I'm doing compared to somebody that's really up there. Also, you know what I mean? great DP working on that, too. Yeah, I had, so. a good, I had a good DP. I had a good DP. I had a good vision for this film. Good camera. You know, yeah. like a, a great camera. Which also, he probably had access to. Like, he had six million bucks. He bought out yep. the whole rentals. So he had the best cameras and he had a studio. He had lights. He had all that shit. Mm -hmm. And he still made a bad looking movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. When you're not, when you, when you know, so that shows you when you don't direct shit properly. Shit looks bad. Oh, that's Edward. You know what I mean? Like, but the thing is, both of them were competently made. So I guess it's proven that you can make movies about crazy directors and wacky directors that make ter terrible films and yeah. make it good. Because it is compelling stories behind them. You know what I mean? It is like an American dream aspect there that any, any, anyone could do. It's just that they fuck up so bad that they end up down the line be commemorated for it. You know? Mm -hmm. Like honestly, sometimes, yeah. Honestly, sometimes the story of how a movie is made can just be a really interesting, great story of itself. Yeah, like, exactly. it honestly really can. Like, there's there's a whole bunch of movies that could probably yeah. honestly what would be good is the story about Tom Wiseau's life, <laughs> like what got him to the money, what got oh, him. Oh yeah, to, like, from what little we know of. Yeah. No, I'm saying if we actually tell the story, I think that'll be interesting. Oh, probably will, but it, we'd also probably see a very dead Tommy Wiseau somewhere. Probably right. And anyway, Edward, Edward Junior, it was this movie really made me cringe out. <laughs> 
like I cringe bad. It's like because it's, it's like a, it's like a film. It's like a young student. It's a like young film. Not student film anymore. But it's a young filmmaker. I'm in the industry. Like I'm, I'm, I'm. My goal is to aspire to become like a real, like a film director. You know, what I mean, like Ryan Cool or whatever else. Like that's like my aspiring goal. I've, I've done some shorts. I've done music videos, whatever else. I'm doing more. I, I, I wrote another short. I'm gonna try to make that sometime early next year. So I can so, so seeing this movie would hit home. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And. Honestly, it makes me feel bad. It makes me feel good too, because it's like I'm realizing, okay, what not to do here, and he's doing everything not, and he's doing, he's doing everything. And luckily, I have money to film out my project. You know what I mean? Like he had us, so but people do it. You know, people find a way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you still make good movies because people that make good movies with cheap budgets. You know what I mean? Like Hernan Montoya is made for fifteen thousand. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know, studio finished the ending for two hundred grand, but still, like it was good to get it to those high level people. You know what I mean? And and he really had connects in the beginning. If yeah. he knocked shit out the park, he would have been in a much better position. He like, would have. Like, yeah, he had a decent start. Like, you know what I mean? When people saw his movie, it was like, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, if he, knows, if he saw the movie and he, and he thought the movie was fucking good. Yeah. If, like, if he thought the movie was been, good. That would have been his career right there. Because once you have good, 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 good story and good performances, that is, like, majority of the more weird films would come from. Like, yeah. everything else, all the pretty stuff about it, the, the set design and the set design and the wardrobe and all that stuff, all that stuff is great. And it all shapes into a movie. But what makes a movie? But movie doesn't win Oscar awards in terms of like, the, like best film because of that. Mm-hmm. It's it all adds editing, all that adds on, you know. But it's your editing is very important because it's you, you actually yeah. crafting the story. So it really is from the pre-production value. It's your it, it's, it's your story. From the po- from the production value, it's your acting, and from your post, it's your editing. You know what I mean? So so those are three main things. It's, it's mm-hmm. your story, acting, story performances, and post. Those are the three movies, you know what I mean? And he never gave a shit about that. He just wanted to make a movie. Like he does, he, he gives a shit about nothing. Like he's like he he, he, has, he has he almost has no vision. Like he, the dude actually loses vision. You know what I mean? And he just wants to make a movie. And he, I'm I'm sitting there questioning why the fuck he wants to make this movie. Mm-hmm. What is he even doing anymore? <laughs> like he lost he lost thread. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. at this point he, he's trying to make the he's trying to make a movie. And now it's more about I just want to I just want to get I just want to make I just want to get money. So I, I, it's almost like a drug addiction. It's like he he's looking for like. Some money so he can re up his addiction to make a bad movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like and almost everything goes into scamming and doing whatever he has to do to to to, to get to. It's like an addiction. It's like addiction. It's like a drug addiction. It's like I'm like yo yo. I need this kind of money. I want to do anything. You know what I mean? I'm gonna talk to anybody to get this money so I can go make another bad film. I have to do it. You know. <laughs> and he's depressed when he doesn't. You know. Yeah, because like keep in mind he has to do a lot. He has to make a lot of just bad decisions. Yeah, you and hurt, hurt a lot of people on the way. You know. Yeah. Like oh man. I, like Sarah Jessica Parker, she had to wise up and be like, "No, this is mm-hmm. I'm not wasting my life doing this anymore." Because he clearly has a vision. He clearly doesn't. He's clearly not a talented filmmaker. He doesn't really know what he's doing. You know, and he's not that smart of a businessman either. No, he's not. Because like, I, I this is why one of my favorite parts of the reaction was just looking at your face when you realized you started filming before he collected all the money. Yeah, I'm like, so, what kind of idiot doesn't? First of all, you have your budget before you even before you even start doing anything. Yeah, I mean, you don't budget, film when you don't have no just money. Didn't fund. He didn't. He waited to get. Yeah, he thought he had a budget, but he didn't actually have the money. You actually know you have the money. <laughs> you actually want to have the money yeah. before you start filming. You actually want to have the money in an account. He just has the money in an actual account, mm. ready to go before anything. <laughs> but yeah, that's um reaction to the movie. Mm-hmm. Tell, tell us what you think about it. You know. Yeah. Let us know what you think in the comments below. So let me say that. Yeah. So that's the movie. Tell us what you think about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just uh, tell us your opinions down below. Yeah, let us know which movie did you think was better, Ed Wood or The Disaster? Yeah, right. Yeah, Ed Wood or The Disaster? Because that's because within that time we I, I saw it again next for the first time. Yeah, we both seen and it. It's just so hard not to compare the two. Yeah, we really can't. It's a big. That's a big reason why it's a big part of why we're talking about yeah. this right now. Yeah, because because it, there's two people that I, I already made two of the like the best worst films ever. Mm-hmm. The Pathfinder Space was the room before the room. It was. Like, uh, like, <laughs> okay, I just had a silly thought. Now, now we, we should have fucking Ed Wood, Tommy Wiseau, Neil Breen, Uwe Boll, and the guy who made Troll 2 all put together like a, like a Valerie and decide who's the worst director of all time. <laughs> yeah. Yatte-mi-ro. <laughs> これがアメリカンジョークです。なるほど。